Hi, welcome to the Otis Gyrie channel. I'm Otis Gyrie, a veteran storyteller and professional voice actor, and I love to spin a good yarn. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for listening, and God bless you. Casey at the Bat by Ernest Lawrence Thayer Performed by Otis Gyrie the outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville Nine that day. The score stood four to two, with but one more inning to play. And then, when Cooney died at first and Barrows did the same, a pall-like silence fell upon the patrons of the game. A straggling few got up to go in deep despair. The rest clung to that hope which springs eternal in the human breast. They thought, if only Casey could get a whack at that, we'd put up even money now with Casey at the bat. But Flynn preceded Casey, as did also Jimmy Blake, and the former was a lulu while the latter was a cake. So upon that stricken multitude grim melancholy sat, for there seemed but little chance of Casey getting to the bat. But Flynn let drive a single to the wonderment of all, and Blake, the much despised, tore the cover off the ball. And when the dust had lifted and men saw what had occurred, there was Jimmy safe at second and Flynn a hugging third. Then, from five thousand throats and more, there rose a lusty yell. It rumbled through the valley, it rattled in the dell. It pounded on the mountain and recoiled upon the flat, for Casey, mighty Casey, was advancing to the bat. There was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride in Casey's bearing, and a smile lit Casey's face. And when, responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat, no stranger in the crowd could doubt twas Casey at the bat. Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Five thousand tongues applauded when he wiped them on his shirt. Then, while the writhing pitcher ground the ball into his hip, defiance flashed in Casey's eye. A sneer curled Casey's lip. And now the leather-covered sphere came hurtling through the air, and Casey stood watching it in haughty grandeur there. Close by the sturdy batsman the ball unheeded sped. That ain't my style, said Casey. Strike one, the umpire said. From the benches, black with people, there went up a muffled roar, like the beating of the storm waves on a stern and distant shore. Kill him! Kill the umpire! shouted one from the stand. And it's likely they'd have killed him had Casey not raised his hand. With a smile of Christian charity, great Casey visage shone. He stilled the rising tumult. He bade the game go on. He signaled to the picture, and once more the dun sphere flew. But Casey still ignored it, and the umpire said, Strike two! Fraud! cried the maddening thousands, and Echo answered fraud. But one scornful look from Casey, and the audience was awed. They saw his face grow stern and cold. They saw his muscles strain. They knew that Casey wouldn't let that ball go by again. The sneer had fled from Casey's lip. His teeth were clenched in hate. He pounds with cruel violence his bat upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball, and now he lets it go. And now the air is shattered by the force of Casey's blow. Oh, somewhere, in this favored land, the sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light. And somewhere men are laughing, and little children shout. But there is no joy in Mudville. 
great Casey has struck out. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to this story in its entirety. If you enjoy what you hear and what I do and would like to support me and my efforts, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Otis Jiry. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe today and share this video with everyone on your social media. It helps more than you could ever imagine. So if you'd like to see a particular story narrated, including one you may have written yourself, Send it to submissions at otisgyrie.com and I'll take a look. If you're interested in more of my work in the horror genre, you can also find me at Chilling Tales for Dark Nights on their website and YouTube channel, and on Chilling Tales, the podcast now available on iTunes. Again, thank you for listening and have a great day. God bless you. <laughs>